Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with my beautiful boy Diego, and um, I'm going to make a video showing you guys just some basic riding things. Um, we counted up all the votes on who you wanted us to ride, and Diego won. Katie couldn't be here to make the video because um, she's sick, and um, so first off, I just wanted to say that um, thank you everybody for voting on the last video and for um, just watching it and giving it so many views. Okay, um, first off, the first thing you want to do is you're going to make sure you're wearing a helmet. I, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, I actually can't find mine, and I don't want to wear Julie's because just between us, don't tell her I told you, but she has lies. <laughs> um, so I don't want to wear hers, but she always says that I have a thick skull, so I should be fine. And I trust Diego. Um, okay. <clears throat> First thing is, you never want to stand, like, right here in front of the horse. Because, like, they can't see really right here because of their eyes being so far apart. It's like, ours, because they're close, we can, like, see everything that's in front of us. But they can't. So you always want to stand, like, right here. And just pat them. And never stand behind the horse, too, because, um, uh... You could get kicked, and yeah, that's not fun, trust me. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm standing on his, um, what is it? <laughs> His right side, and so I'm going to put my right foot in the stirrup, and then you want to swing yourself over like this, because then it just kind of shows the horse that you're not going to hurt them, and that you, you know, um, are just here to have fun and ride them and stuff. And so then you kick your leg over oh. <laughs> and then put your feet in the stirrups okay <clears throat> now one thing um, I just want to talk about and um, people have different views on um, this I, well we, Katie and I don't kick our horses and I'm not saying that people who do are like bad or anything but um, we were just we were taught that um Horses sometimes respond better if you just kind of um, squeeze with your legs in um, just to make a move. And it's just as effective as, as, effective as kicking them, um, if not more effective. And so, um, like, I even, one time I was riding and this horse was not wanting to move. She was really old and, like, lazy. <laughs> And so, um, I was riding her, and she wasn't doing anything, and so the instructor told me to kick her, and so I kicked her really hard, and she would start to move. I always felt bad about it afterwards for kicking her, and, um, so, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> long the video. So then you're going to grab the reins, like this, and then just lightly squeeze, and if you have to... Like that, which I have to do for um, Diego. And get him to go, and then start walking. And if I, if you want to go faster, you just um, squeeze harder, and or you know any kind of whatever. Like if you have a, no a special noise or something that, with the horse. And uh, another thing is, if the horse's ears are like um, leaning back or pointing back at you, and the horse is kind of like you know, doing something weird with its head, it usually means that it's, like, mad or angry. And so then you want to be really careful and you want to get off as fast as possible. And sometimes, you know, it obviously it won't work if you're, you know, running really fast and um, galloping, whatever. So what, um, what Katie and I do, what we were taught to do, is you kick your leg over really fast and kind of hold on to the reins and then be careful when you come down and then keep holding on to the reins and start pulling the horse towards you like around in a circle until it's calmed down until the horse is calmed down and you can um, get back on it um, <clears throat> and then what's the other thing? oh yeah when you're up there make sure you're always like you know talking to your horse being you know nice and saying you know good good boy good boy like, good boy Diego Mwah. and um petting your horse, because then it, I mean, it's enjoyable for not only you, but for the horse, too. Um, that's pretty much it for now. If there's anything else you guys wanted me to teach you, 
um, or Katie to teach you. Um, just send us um, a message, uh, write a comment, or you know whatever, and we'll see what we can do. Um, oh, another thing is, Katie wanted me to say that um, last time when she was making the video and she said brunking bronco. Yeah, she knew that was a mistake, but like at the time, she really didn't know. She knew the real word, but like she was kind of sick and it kind of got mixed up and she forgot. And so that's just why she said brunking instead of bucking. <laughs> yeah, I tease about it all the time now. So anyway, um, but remember, always wear your helmet and always be careful. Um, make sure the horse's ears are perked like Diego's are right now. Um, yeah, and always have fun. Thanks.